In this lesson, we're going to represent a range of solutions to an, to an, an equation on a number line. We need to know the symbols. If we have a full circle, that means the value can be equal to and greater than or less than. And if we have a hollow symbol, it cannot be equal to. So we begin with x plus 3 is less than or equal to 7. And we can use the balance method to take away the 3 from both sides. And they were cancelled to make zero, so x is less than or equal to four, which is a full circle going left from four. And for question B, we have six x is less than eighteen. And again, we use the balance method. We're going to divide both by 6 because that is the opposite of times. So x will be less than negative 18 divided by 6, which is negative 3. So a hollow circle going left from negative 3. Moving on to 4x plus 3 is less than or equal to 7. We're going to take away 3 from both sides. So 4x will be less than or equal to 4. We're going to divide both by 4. So 1x or just x will be less than or equal to 1. So a full circle going left. So all the numbers to the left of 1, including 1, are the possible solution. For question D, we have 5x minus 6 is greater than or equal to negative 16. So we'll use the balance method and we'll add 6 to both sides. But negative 6, add 6 will make 0, so that's gone. So 5x is greater than or equal to negative 10. We'll divide both by 5. So x will be greater than or equal to negative 10 divided by 5, which is negative 2. So a full circle above 2 going to the right. And for question E, we have 2x must be greater than or equal to negative 10. Sorry, 2x must be greater than negative 10. And 2x must be less than or equal to 16. So we don't want 2x, we just want 1x. So we'll divide it all by 2. Because 2 divided by 2 will make 1. So x must be less than or equal to 16 divided by 2, which is 8, and negative 10 divided by 2, which is negative 5. So this time, values of x, or the range of x, is between negative 5, which it cannot be equal to, and positive 8, which it can be equal to. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out MrMathematics.com for more lessons and worksheets.